Hi, this is Chris Conrad, and the purpose of this video is to cover the internet activation system that we use with Structural Engineering Library. The system itself is meant to be very easy and convenient to use, so we'll keep it simple and just show you how to get up and running right away. When the software is first installed and launched, you'll probably see a window like this software license control that's looking for us to paste in a product control code. So I'm going to go off to the side and copy my product control code and then come back and click the button that says paste from clipboard. And then I'll click the button down below that says validate the product control code. So I can see that it looks good from the uh, information that it decodes. It sees my license number and my name and so on. So that's a good sign. I can just click this next to activate button. Here, what we're going to do is focus on the Internet Activate option. That's the convenient method that allows you to share a limited number of seats with an unlimited number of installations. The manual activation, you can keep this in the back of your mind as a um, fail-safe method in case something blocks the Internet communication that's required with the Internet Activate method. But I would just say that uh, you want to concentrate on Internet Activate, and if you have any problems with it at all, please uh, contact us at support at entercalc.com and let us know what's going on and at least give us the chance to see if we can help with Internet Activation first so that you can still take advantage of that seat sharing ability. Okay, at this point, I'm going to click the Internet Activate button, and now I have two major types of activation that I can choose from. The easiest way to think of these is if I'm uh, a user with a single seat and I only intend to use the software on just one computer, then I will want to select the indefinite option because it's the kind that writes the activation to my local computer and then no longer requires internet connectivity in order to make sure that a seat is available. So it's the safest and the easiest way to ensure that your single computer just stays activated. On the other hand, if you're a larger organization and you've got a certain number of seats of the software and you're sharing those among a larger pool of computers, then you need to be able to return those activations when the software is closed so that someone else can grab one of them and activate an installation. And that's where the automatic method shines. For our purposes, we'll stay with the indefinite type and we'll click the button that says click here to activate. This screen tells me that my software is now activated on the computer and that's what we want to see. So I can click continue to program. And at this point I could use the software, uh, create project files, edit existing files and so on. So that's uh, in a nutshell how we activate an installation. Now, let's assume that we want to share a single seat activation with another computer. Maybe we have a, a computer in the office and a computer at home. So the easy way to do that is while I'm here in the office, I can either come to this icon, the keychain, or I can come up to the license item in the menu bar and choose view activation information. And then I can choose this option to deactivate this computer. And when I do that, it shows me that this particular installation is now uh, available for activation. And what I would do at this point, if I was gonna go home and work on a project on a different computer is I would just click close and close out of the software. Now, let's assume that I forget to deactivate the computer at the office and I get home um, and I try to launch from the home computer. What I'm going to do is off to the side here, I'm going to activate a second computer against this same product control code so that theoretically now my single seat license is used by a different computer. That's taken care of off to the side. Uh, now I'll come back to this screen and show you what you would see when you get home if you launch the software and you tried to activate it. Okay, you get this message that says that your activation limit has already been reached. That's because it's been used on a different computer somewhere. Well, not to worry. 
because the easiest way to handle this now is come down and use this button that says display list of activated devices. It contacts the server, builds a list of the computers that are currently activated. In this case, it's just one. I recognize it, so it's not a cause for alarm. It's just my computer at the office. And now all I have to do is select the computer that I want to deactivate and then click this button, confirm with yes, and now it tells me that the other computer was deactivated and it'll allow me to activate on this computer. And there we go. Now we can continue to program and we're back in business again. So that's a brief look at internet activation, how to get started when you first install, uh, the different types of activation that are available to you, and then a quick look at how you can share activations either by using the automatic activation type, if you know that you're gonna to need to share among many computers, or how to use the um, remote deactivate method if you are in a pinch and you need to deactivate uh, another computer remotely. One thing that I should also mention too is that when you use that uh, remote deactivation, which is also available here from license um, view list of active computers. Nothing bad happens to the person or to the people that you choose to deactivate. They don't get kicked off the software. They don't lose any data. In fact, they don't even know that they've been deactivated. And regardless of whether they're indefinite or automatic, the next time they launch the software, the software will prompt them to do the right thing to reactivate. And if necessary, they may need to uh, take a look at the list of currently activated devices and, and do the same thing that I demonstrated here for you. But it's a completely safe system. Uh, nothing, nothing bad will ever happen from using that method. So uh, if that raises any questions, please feel free to let us know. Contact us at support at entercalc.com and we will be happy to try uh, to tackle those questions. Thanks very much and have a great day.